Hey guys, welcome to Pros of Eden. Thank you for joining me. Today I've got something different that I know is going to bless you. It sure blessed me just putting it all together for you guys. The Bible says, what does it cost a man to gain the world yet lose his soul? Now we look at that scripture and we kind of just think about it in a very, I don't know, overarching like, you know, people who are just greedy and they're living for themselves and all of that and, and they're seeking fame and fortune. But when we think about it on a smaller scale, do we put our job, our career, do we put life in general, where we're going to go eat or where we're going to go vacation, do these things seem to have dominance over our spiritual life? Because the Bible says, seek first the kingdom of God and then everything else shall be added. It's not that God doesn't want to prosper you, but everything has to be in proper order. We have to keep the main thing the main thing and it's really easy to get distracted in this life right you're trying to build a future for your children you're trying to provide it's really easy to get distracted but i hope that this is a reminder to us all that we don't need to lay up our treasures here on earth where they can rust and where the moths can get to it and thieves can break in but the Bible tells us to store our treasures in heaven where those things won't affect them. And so this is such a stark reminder of two things that you can't take what you do in this life. You can't take all of the things that you have. They're not going with you. And then number two, that life is so fleeting and that we really have to remember that each day truly is a gift. So with that being said, I want you all to check out this video and I pray that not only is it an eye opener, but it will remind us all to keep the main thing, the main thing. Let's check it out. Today we're about to explore this amazing $10.5 million mega mansion that's been abandoned for over six years now. But before I show you all of this, I wanna first take you outside and tell you the story of why this mega mansion is abandoned. They say a person doesn't just die once. They die a thousand times over when the people who love them feels the void of their absence. And sometimes they leave a catastrophic wave that can be felt for generations. This is the story of a mansion and of the man who built it. Robert was an accomplished man. Graduating from one of the nation's finest medical schools, he became a well-known surgeon, a father of four, and even a recreational pilot. Having built a thriving empire with over half a dozen medical offices, in 2006, Robert decided it was time to build a dream mansion for his family. Comprised of three stories, not counting the full basement, this white marble mansion has 11 bedrooms, 13 bathrooms, a visitor's quarter, indoor pool, outdoor sports complex, a four-car garage, a mahogany library, and an elevator. No expense was spared in the elaborate design of this 30,000 square foot luxury villa. And while it was still under construction, the family moved into the home and Robert's dream of living the life he had always wanted was becoming a reality. But the dream would soon come crashing down. Robert and his teenage son were flying in his plane one night while on a business trip when they lost control of the aircraft and crashed into rough terrain. Robert was at the controls. They were both killed upon impact. The devastation of his death far exceeded what anyone could have imagined. Robert's multi-million dollar life insurance policy had been canceled when he failed to make payments on the premium for the two months leading up to his death. Subsequently, all financial support for his family had been stripped and $8 million was still owed on the mansion. Not to mention the mortgage was a staggering $50,000 a month. And with the mansion unfinished, the prospect of selling it to someone who had the money, time, and vision to complete the elaborate build was out of the question. It took only three months for the bank to seize the property, and the house has been sitting abandoned ever since. So let's now go on a journey inside this marvelous mansion. Okay guys, I am going to put the full link to the video in the description box because if you're like me, that is just not going to be enough and I will tell you the video is 
so interesting. I love looking at abandoned homes and, and the stories that go behind them. I learned so much from them. And so, yeah, the link is in the description box. I love you all. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you soon. Bye.